Really, Jeff? Coffee in a strip mall? Best coffee in town. Oh, good grief. You say so. OK. Hi, how are y'all doing? Yeah. Hey. Doing good. Is this where we go? Yeah. What can I get for you? Uh, I'd like to get a raspberry mocha frozen decaf with soy and extra whip. Hi. Now, that's a drink order. What was it? I don't know. This place just feels bizarre. The guy in front of me is ordering things that I've never heard of. What exactly did you order? Uh, it's a frozen raspberry mocha. It's got raspberry, chocolate, decaf espresso, and soy milk. What is he, constructing a bomb? Here you go. Thanks. What can I get for you? Well, after saying that, I'm not real sure. When Jeff came up with the idea of going to a coffee shop, I figured there would be coffee available. Are you looking for, like, a latte, cappuccino, brevet? Where's the coffee? You only have one thing that actually says coffee. Gourmet coffee. In the white letters. Do you want just, like, regular black coffee? We want the strongest thing you've got. Four double shots of espresso. That's what we want. Is this guaranteed to put hair on my chest? Guaranteed. That's it? That's it. <clears throat> Despite the weirdness of my surroundings, this espresso? <laughs> sure. It tastes like motor oil, man. It's pretty good. Tastes like my dad's. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, you're looking at the effects of long-term use of these products. These people, they look like they've been here a while. I mean, perhaps all day. I don't think these people are going back to work. I don't even know if these people do work. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Afternoon Floetry. We need to get out of here. Well. This coffee is amazing. Just about to have, uh, this place. Weird. Here. Good call on the coffee, little brother. No look past. I told you. Come on. We almost done. I feel a million times better. About an hour ago, we were in pursuit of coffee. Chalk it. Headache. So we go, and we ingest the sweetest fuel known to mankind, espresso. Throw. Ah. And ever since then, everything has been moving in fast forward. We done made up for the time we took to go get the coffee. Uh-oh. Hey, bad calls. We're skipping all the boring stuff. It's just... Press, God. Press. Come on, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> hey, get off me. Bye. Boop, 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 boop. His belly's hitting yeah, before. Yeah, I don't care. Down. Look, his knees are on the ground. This stuff is awesome. <laughs> my heart is beating really fast. I feel like I can hear it in my ears. It's like boom, 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 boom. Run, Joe, run! Man, you're him. That's all. Oh. It kind of hurts a little bit, actually. Oh, I just pulled something. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm not feeling real good. I'm a little bit queasy. I have got a headache the size of Texas, man. I hit a wall. Oh, I'm exhausted, too, I'm telling you. No, i um... You ran into a wall? Yeah. Mm. They'll probably turn espresso into a banned substance. Let me give you coffee drinkers a bit of a warning. If you're contemplating going down this long, dark road of espresso. That needs to be regulated. I'm going to tell you something. That packed a punch. Proceed with extreme caution. It's a nice climb, but it's a horrendous fall. I'm just going to go buy me a $12 coffee maker and call it a tax write-off. Tell you what, if you ever see me wandering around the mall, muttering bad poetry, just go ahead and shoot me on the spot. Deal. <laughs>